This tutorial is brought to you by flbeattutorials.com. Today's tutorial, we will focus on one of the most important elements of any hip hop or R&B or rap track, and that is getting a great sounding sub bass. And what we're gonna use to do that today is the three times OSC. So if you go up to channels here, add one, and you go down to three times OSC. Okay, we have that over here on the right. You see your channel settings window. You also see it over here on the sequencer. First thing I wanna do on my channel settings window is click and go to assign free mixer track. So now you can see that the three times OSC has its own mixer track. Next thing I wanna to do to start getting the sub bass sound that I'm after is go down here to Oscillator 2, turn the volume all the way down. Oscillator 3, volume all the way down. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a listen to what we have so far. So basically, we still got a high pitch sound, so we gotta get that pitch lower. So if we go over here to our CRS knob, turn that down and that'll bring it down two octaves. So now let's listen. All right, you can start to hear a little bit of sub in there. So now we see that the instrument is set at C5. If we come up here to C6 and right click, now let's take a listen. Now we have a very deep sub bass already. So now we just wanna do some finishing touches to to clean it up a little bit and to make it a little bit more bassy. So what we wanna do is we have our mixer track here. First thing I wanna do is apply a parametric EQ2. And the reason I wanna do this is to get rid of the unneeded frequencies on the bass track so that way it doesn't conflict with the other instruments. There's no need for these frequencies to be there. So we just wanna get rid of them and we're also, while we're in here, gonna give it a slight boost. So let's take the first band here, slide that over to around 30 hertz. Okay, let's change this to a high pass filter, meaning anything below 30 hertz will not come through. So I wanna change the cue on this a little bit so it's only cutting what I want. So we have this at 30 hertz and we have a smaller Q here, so now let's go to band three, and I wanna move this somewhere around 100 hertz. And you'll see why we're not using band two in just a second. So now I wanna make that a low pass filter on band three. Okay, now I just wanna Adjust the cue on that a little bit. All right, so now I have that, and I'm getting rid of everything from this side of the line over, and I'm also doing that on this side over here. So now let's slide. Let's actually let's go ahead and play it so we can see where the the main frequencies are coming through on our bass. And you can see right here, this is the main area where my bass content is coming through. So let's slide to right over here in the middle of that, probably around 60 hertz. Go right there. And uh, let's just give this a slight boost. There we go. So now we have that. Next thing we can do is we can add a little bit of bass boost to it. So let's go to the fruity bass boost. All right, you can already hear that it's starting to boost a little bit. Give it just a little bit more. Okay, I think that sounds pretty good right there. All right, that does it for this tutorial. This is how you get a sub bass with three times OSC. Thank you for watching.